students can you see the first picture the sun has risen into the sky so we call it as a day now we will see the second picture can you see in the second picture the moon in the sky so it is known as night so today we are going to study a new lesson day and night lesson number 16 day and night standard fourth subject evs 1 how we can identify day and night the sun has arise so it is known as day the moon has arrived so it is known as night you can see in the picture how we can identify the day and the night we stay on the planet earth so the earth gets light from the sun the earth shape is like a very large ball the sun appears to move across the sky because earth rotates on its axis axis is an imaginary straight line passing through the north pole and the center of the earth and the south pole It is at an angle of twenty-three point five degree. Every day we see the day chasing night and the night chasing the day. The meaning of chasing is to run after somebody or something in order to catch it. We see children after the day the night appears, and after the night the day appears. This cycle goes on without stopping. Children, look at the picture very carefully. The yellow circle. It is a sun. And a blue circle or a circle moving around the yellow circle is known as earth. Can you see in the picture the earth is moving around its sun while going around the sun the earth turns around itself too cell the spinning of the earth around itself is called the rotation of the earth In this picture children the earth is moving around the sun can you see in the picture the earth is moving around the sun the movement of the earth around the sun is called the revolution of the earth you can see in the picture has a second picture it shows how the revol revolution takes place we experience day and night every day as we have learned that earth rotates as well as revolves it revolves around the sun and it rotates around itself because of this the light from the sun does not reach to the entire earth at the same time the half of the earth gets sunlight while the other remains in the darkness has it shown in the picture as you see in the chart sun rises and sets in may the date sunrise and sunset fourth of may sunrise at 6 am that is in the morning and sun sets at 7:20 pm that is in the evening on the 8th of may sunrise at 6 5 am in the morning and sunset at 7:30 pm that is in the evening sun 
sunrise and sunset in November. The day dates sunrise and sunset is given in the table as you can see. On the 4th of November, sunrise at 6.30 a.m. and sets at 6.45 p.m. that is in the evening. On the 8th of November, sunrise at 6.35 a.m. that is in the morning and sets at 6.50 p.m. that is in the evening. I hope you have understood the table. In the November, the sun rises little later while it sets a little early. In the May, the sun rises little earlier and sets little late as you can see in the picture. Whole day has 24 hours, where day is considered to be 12 hours and the night is considered to be 12 hours. Now, let us understand the duration of day and night. Children, can you see the picture? In the picture, there are different days, month, which is shown in the picture. Now, we will look to the 22nd of March to 21st of June. On 22nd of March, the day and night both are of 12 hours longer. Then, in a part of the earth, daytime increase slowly, nighttime decrease. This goes on till 21st of June. On 21st of June, our day is longest and the night is shortest. In the second picture, you can see the 21st of June to 22nd of September. From 22nd, 21st of June to 22nd September, in a part of the earth, the day times becomes shorter and shorter and the night becomes longer. On 22nd of September, our day is of 12 hours and night too is of 12 hours. 22nd September to 22nd December. From 22nd September to 22nd December, the day continues to become shorter and shorter and the night continues to become longer. On 22nd December, a night is the longest and the day is the shortest. Next, 22nd December to 22nd March. From 22nd December to 22nd March, the day grows longer and the night shorter. This goes on till 22nd March. From 22nd March, this cycle repeats again. Now let's find the duration of day and night during the summer season and the winter season. During summer season, the days are longer and the nights are shorter. And during winter season, the nights are longer and the days are shorter. Let us summarize the lesson in short. We live on the earth where earth is of ball shape and spins around itself. And so the earth's light does not reach on all parts of the earth at the same time because of which we have day and night. A whole day is of 24 hours where generally the day is of 12 hours and the night is of 12 hours. 
from december to june the days gets longer and from june to december the days get shorter filling the blanks the sun appearing in the sky in the morning is called what it is called sunrise yes the answer is sunrise we'll go for the second question the whole day has dash hours as you can see there are options over there how many hours the whole day has the answer is 24 hours very good true or false first one on september 22nd the length the day and the night are unequal what will be the answer the answer is false second question the spinning of the earth around itself is called rotation of the earth the answer is true excellent friends i hope you have understood the lesson the day and the night thank you